Mediocre Arknights Operator Guide. We're doing Firewatch, my most wanted 5-star unit at launch. But the laws of gacha pulling disallow such luck to be had, forcing a half a year wait period until a Firewatch of my own graced her presence on my account, to which I went on my knees and celebrated such good banner luck as I bought her from the yellow certificate shop. We like our Deadeye Snipers around here, and Firewatch is no exception, prioritizing her attacks on the lowest physical defense enemy within range. Grounded or airborne, it does not matter, as she will still follow that low armor hierarchy. If you are not a melee unit, cower in fear of Firewatch's talent, Assassin, which allows her to deal increased damage to enemies that do not attack or attack at range. This includes casters, crossbow guys, arch drones, raids, and whoever else fits the description. In most cases, Firewatch will likely prioritize attacking them due to her trait, combined with the general squishiness of those types of enemies, giving a nice niche for her. Even more so with Metal Deer Solid Skill 1, Environmental Camouflage, which gives her two things for up to 50 seconds, a moderate attack boost, and the stealth effect, which prevents Firewatch from being targeted with attacks. When maxed out, it's a 20 SP cost for a 50 second skill duration, which is quite a while for the short amount of time it takes to charge up. Even shorter when you have Firewatch's module that increases her SP by 1 when her hits don't kill. With the Camouflage, you can stick her on her own, firing away, picking off her targets. Firewatch's skill 2, Tactical Radio, randomly drops up to 3 area of effect bombs within her attack range, dealing a juicy amount of damage. If you want to drop the full 3 bombs, the skill needs to be at least M1. Why shoot your targets when you can drop explosives instead? Hit the button and watch the bombs go. Only one map tile can have one bomb dropped on it, meaning you cannot have multiple bombs dropped on the same spot. Though launched randomly, the bombs will prioritize tiles that enemies are on, and if there are no other available tiles, will be dropped randomly within Firewatch's range. Basic tips with Firewatch. Her skill 1 stealth makes her invisible, but not invincible. While her skill 1 is recharging, she will likely become vulnerable to attacks if there are ranged enemies left hanging around. Time your skills well to keep Firewatch in stealth when threatening enemies are nearby, and recharge when there are not. This is especially the case if you deploy her on her own. Though you can't cheese out extra damage on an enemy by launching more than one bomb on the same tile, you can drop those extra bombs on nearby tiles to achieve this. As the bombs do damage in an area, the damage can overlap on the desired tile, granted there is a nearby enemy to drop the explosive on, unless you want to rely on random chance. So, should you build Firewatch? If you value picking off range targets, yes, as long as their HP and defense isn't too high. If you value burst damage, other than a well-timed skill too, not really. If you value planning out skill activations, yes, preparation and timing is pretty important to her kit. If you value creating a nuclear level catastrophe to enact your revenge, why not, it's a fun skill to use. Finally, here are Firewatch's stats, potentials, trust bonuses, base skill, and my E264 M6 Firewatch ready with those 6-digit nuclear launch codes. Wait, does she not have any? Um, well, if anyone watching knows of any, please do let me know for, um, entertainment researchy purposes. And that was the Firewatch Operator Guide. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.